Welcome to your fourth lesson on flowchart and Sudoku. This is the same series problem solving and design. In this lesson, we're going to look at the differences between flowchart and Sudoku. How is a flowchart different to a Sudoku? And uh, you need to understand how is a Sudoku structured and what are the different symbols may be used for flowchart. We'll be studying these two topics later on in a different video, but for now it's just an introduction how we document algorithm using flowchart. So a flowchart is a diagram in fact. It shows the steps required for a task, maybe for a subsystem, and the orders they are to be performed. These steps together with the order are called an algorithm. Flowcharts are an effective way to communicate the algorithm, especially to different programmers, that shows how a system or subsystem works. Remember, a system or subsystem, they need an algorithm behind for it to work. An algorithm can be expressed using either flowchart or pseudocode. So this is an example of a flowchart. As you can see, it begins with a start sign that signals the starting of the flowchart, the starting of the algorithm in fact, and the ending of an algorithm. Now following these steps, they are using the construct sequence. From start we'll go to get time, which is calling a given procedure or function, or subroutine if you want to say. Then we're making a decision, for which we call the construct selection is being used. Now there are two pathways that we can go, either on the side or on the side. Now you can see we're getting the time, is the time is equal to the alarm I have set? Yes, then sound alarm, otherwise no, wait 30 seconds, goes back up. Now you're going to see the whole process will be repeated. Now if you take a look, what are the different constructs being used in this flowchart itself? To document the algorithm. We have sequence, we have selection, and then we have repetition. And maybe when we do get time, we are checking if time equal to alarm time. Maybe we'll be using some form of assignment since alarm time is an identifier in this program. Now, CEDA code is another simple method of showing or expressing an algorithm. Compared to flowchart, it uses symbol. Sedoco uses English-like words and mathematical operators to set out to look like a program. But remember, Sedoco is written using English-like keywords, and these are reserved keywords, and they are shown using capital, capital letters like repeat, until, and so on. Now you can see we are going to use mathematical operators in Sedoco. We're going to take a look to set Let's code take a look to an evaluation exercise. Analysis. June 2017, paper 21, question number 3. We have a satellite navigation system. It works using destination details entered by the user. So the user will input the detail. Now the details being inputted can be either a new destination or chosen from a previously saved destination. Now these are the two different ways if you take a look where the user can enter the detail. Now the satellite system has another functionality which is to output direction to the destination in either visual map or a list of direction. Here you can see we have two different methods, the map itself and the list. So the satellite system is a main system. We have the input destination, which is subsystem of the above system, which is satellite navigation system. As such, one is input destination, therefore the other one will become output direction. And the two methods for input destination can be obviously either new destination or chosen from previously saved destination. So these are systems, like you have seen, which may be broken down into other subsystems. 
and this is the answer of this exercise we have output direction at the same level of input destination